You are watching noglocal.com. Many times we hear people say, don't judge me. Stop judging me. But sometimes in reality, they're not being judged. We're just reading back their resume of what they gave us and what they say they are. Let's take, for example, a young man that goes for a job. He provides his resume of his experience or lack of experience with a job, per se, and the manager reviews it and doesn't see any experience with a job and says, look, young man, thank you for coming in. But from the look of your resume, it is clear that you have no experience in this field. You have never done this job before, and uh, I really can't hire you because you really don't know how to do it. Now, he can walk away and uh, say to himself, how dare you judge me, tell me I can't do this job. Uh, was he judged? Not necessarily. Uh, the manager simply read back the resume of what he provided. In the resume, he said, I have no experience. So the manager said, you have no experience. In the resume, he said, I have not done this before. So the manager said, you have not done this before. So in this case, the manager didn't judge him. The manager simply read back his resume or says, from the looks of this, you've never done this before. That was what he provided. And so it is with life sometimes. Sometimes people are reading back our resume based on our actions. And they're not necessarily judging us. Let's take another example. Say Maria. She shows up for work 7.30 every day for a month. A really nice girl, single, works at uh, a great place, at least for most of the people. And uh, one day she's having lunch with uh, a few of her friends and one of the manager walks by and simply asks, hey Maria, what time were you in this week? Maria says, oh, seven. And he passes, continues on, and, and, and that's it. Now there's a function. In about a month from now, there's a great function at the office, and one of the executives notices Maria and asks about Maria and says, you know, who's, who's this single girl? She's, she's hot, I, I really like her. And the comment says, oh, oh, that's Maria. You know, she's, she, yes, she is single, and she's beautiful, but she's a liar. Now later on, Maria hears about this conversation, and she is furious. How dare them judge me? How dare them judge me? Did they judge her? Well, think about it. Maria came in 7.30 for a whole month. When asked what time she came in, she said 7. She did lie. When you lie, you are a liar. So the person wasn't wrong. Maria is a liar and she did lie. So in that case, they didn't judge Maria. They simply read back Maria's resume of what she provided or who she shows herself to be. And they said, okay, you know, she's a nice girl, but she's a liar. That's what I've seen. That's what we have seen her to do. So in our life, rather than rush to someone and say, you have judged me, double check. See if they're simply reading back our resume of what we're provided, or they're actually judging us. So then the next question, how is it then to identify if someone is actually judging us? Take the example of a five-year-old. Uh, your five-year-old is in kindergarten, per se, and very active, funny, love to have fun, love, love to play, and always active. And you know, it's not always the best thing in kindergarten. So you, you get a call and you go and you visit the headmaster and the headmaster says, look, I need to you know, be clear and tell you this. Th th this girl is a problem. And you know what? This girl is never going to amount to anything in her life. And now I know that there's some illness um, so it will palsy that we don't have cure for at this point in time. And yes, those illness will affect how we work. And no matter whether we're young or old, if, if, if we cannot cure those illness, that will affect our function as older people. And we can say, yes, if there is no cure for cerebral palsy, a child with cerebral palsy will have difficulty with work and they may need help from the state and things like that. Okay. That, that much, because at this point, we don't have any cure for it. However, a six-year-old behavior, behaving in a rambunctious, hyper way, to make a 30-year conclusion <laughs> that this six-year-old will amount to nothing, even the most smartest headmaster, I'm not sure if that's something they could do. So in this case, yes, that's a judgment. And that's a judgment based on insufficient evidence. I'm not sure if that's possible to do. Um, the child 
may turn out to be brilliant, may turn out to be a doctor. You, you can't make that conclusion. So yes, in this case, that would be a judgment, a horrible thing to do, of course. Now, if we go back to Maria, the comment was that Maria is a liar, presently a liar. Now, if the comment was, you know, this girl is a liar, and you don't want to marry her because she's always going to lie. Now you're saying in her future she will be lying. But perhaps if we look at Maria into her life, say Maria doesn't like the job, and then two years from now she finds a job that she loves, and uh, she wakes up early and she gets to that job in time, and she's never late at this new job like she was at this other job that she didn't like. Now our judgment is wrong because now Maria is on time and there's no reason for her to lie and she doesn't lie. So in our efforts to read back a person's resume, sometimes we can go a little too far and say based on the resume, we draw the conclusion that they will always be this way. And yes, in that case, we have provided judgment to that person, which is not necessarily correct. We don't know. Even in the case of the young man, that we used prior to apply for the job with his resume clearly showing no experience. If the manager has said to him, look, you have no experience for this job. We need a doctor that needs to operate on people. I really can't hire you and put you to operate on people because you have no experience. You've never done this before. And the fact is you'll never have any experience. You can never do this because you're not worthy or whatever he decides to say. In that moment, he would have made a judgment of that person because at present, the young man doesn't have experience. However, if the young man decides to go to school, educates himself and become a doctor and get some experience, that situation may change. So it is not true that he will never have experience and that would be a judgment. So with our friends, don't rush too fast to call judgment that they're judging us by a comment or something they say if we provided a resume and they're simply reading back our resume. And for ourselves, be very careful. Um, people may provide a resume of what they are and who they are to us, and as we read back that resume to them, be careful that we don't go into a judgmental phase and says, based on what they do here, it seems like this is what they're gonna be for the rest of their life. Then we are becoming judgmental, we are judging that person.